What is up everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Metaphor Free Fantasio. In the last episode, we took on the the Ponjula in the in the Acadia Desert. We again we hung out with some some of our followers and we also hung out with a couple of NPCs for specific personality traits or royal virtues as I call it in this game. And we also joined the tournament to for the throne in the last episode as well. So tomorrow, game time tomorrow, we actually have an opening ceremony we have to hit up and hopefully get a gauntlet runner that Kolkenberg is telling us to be prepared for anything. So I don't know what that means, but hopefully we get something good. Anyways, we can't really do anything else in here. I already talked to this guy to see if he had any any knowledge about the uh about the bounty we just we just hit. What now? With the what is it? The old town kidnapper here. But he doesn't have any of that information, which I guess kind of makes sense because it's not going to be in Grand Trad, from what it seems. So, yeah, we can't really do anything else because she's going to tell us to, yeah, she should go out right now. So tell us to go to bed. We already spoken to everybody. And yeah, so let's go ahead and head on, to, head on to bed. Let's go ahead and rest and start the opening ceremony for tomorrow. Can I come in? Oh, Maria. Huh? Wanna read some more? What's wrong? What's wrong? Um, well, you're all leaving tomorrow, right? I'll be cheering for you. So, I... I... I just... Oh, no. <laughs> I promised Miss Fabian I Aww. wouldn't cry. I won't tell her. <laughs> you don't have to worry. Oh, it's all right. You don't have to worry. Pavel was trying to stop a bad man, you said. And that's what you're all doing too, isn't it? Please come back home safe. I'll be waiting here as long as it takes. Wait for me. It's a promise. It's a promise. I'm not gonna let my fantasy die like I did two episodes ago. I promise. All right. Promise. The next time I see you again, can you tell me more about the outside world? This one's important. Promising returns. Maria is waiting for us to return home, and re regale her with tales of the strange and distant places we visit. Okay. Curative Kairos. I never got a chance to say this to Papa. So, thank you. No. I'll go to bed now. Captain, may I have a moment? Good night. Good night, Maria. I was hoping for a chance to speak before we set out. Since our meeting, I've done nothing but impose on you. Now, you risk your very life for this cause. Tis no easy burden. It pains me to see, when I think of how this may yet save His Highness, I lose sight of all else. Such disregard ill becomes me. That's putting it mildly. You truly are devoted to him. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Tis kind of you to say. But that We're in this book, together. We met once before, on a carriage bound for the capital. Do you recall? You got you got me thrown out. <laughs> I do. Now that you mention it, I do. My apologies. I thought only to minimize casualties one way or another. So, tis a novel envisioning an ideal world. Curious to see a utopian novel these days. I'd thought them long since banned. Ah, you needn't worry. I've no intention of taking it from you. I've sometimes wondered why such books were forbidden. Rumors say the Sanctists objected to their contents. Yet I wonder, how could a simple book have possibly stunned them so? Do you mind if I read a passage or two? Yeah, go for it. This is cool. We're going to be able to go continue going through this book with our party members, it seems. 
So, it is a fiction written as if a personal account. This chapter seems to concern the system by which the nation's leader is decided. In this country, one cannot become even a statesman, much less sovereign, without the consent of the people. Those who aspire to statecraft must first solemnly swear before the people what they will do in service of their country. Should they earn title but break their word, they are denounced and stripped of power. Such is the authority of the people. In this way, it is the people who are the land's true king. Quite the opposite of our own country. Now I see why our upper echelons would abolish such texts. Had our lands embraced such accountability, perhaps His Royal Highness would not have suffered such a fate. No. As a knight, it's not my place to say. I must clear my head of these fantasies. In the end, clinging to a dream will do me no good. Oh, I suppose. It is not so bad to dream now and then. It takes power to walk the path of our dearest hopes. Perhaps that is the purpose of this newfound strength. My dearest dream. It is to save His Highness even at the cost of my life. Nothing more. Time marches on. Hey, it didn't see, seems like we didn't fall asleep this that time. Nearer. Good job, Sky, for not falling asleep. Judah! Lady Judah! Expecting a song here. So that all may hear this guy's like, Whoa, this land, as here we stand, let us greet the rising dawn hand in hand. Far away, sky, so clear. That's one hell of a way to open off to start off this episode. Hell yeah. <laughs> Even I'm feeling the heat. Well, I suppose it's time to fan the flames. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to the inauguration of the tournament for the throne. For the first time, the crown is anyone's to claim, as long as the aspirants can complete three grueling challenges. Wow, a Sanctus Crier. He's perfect for this. Let's discuss the venues. We kick off in the west, in the Pearl of the Coast, the Principality of Oceana's harbour city capital, Port Brylehaven. Okay. There, they face their first challenge, the Exhibition of the Brave. Each contender must bring back the head of a monster, a mark of their prowess and courage. Next, our would-be monarchs head east. Upon the misty peaks, we arrive in the Principality of Montario's beautiful city of faith, Alterbury Heights. And finally, our heroes make their well-deserved return home to Grand Trad. But first, let's do introductions. It's time to meet those risking their lives for the crown. Closest to the throne, I know him, you know him, 
It's Sanctism's one and only 78 Sanctifex, His Eminence, Forden! Victory to Sanctifex Forden! I claim no great ambition, nor any heated calls to action. All I wish is to restore order for our people and to safeguard our land from the threats beyond. This chaos we face is but one of God's many trials. Let us restore our kingdom's glory together! Moving right along, we come next to His Eminence's champion, the very spear in his hand, the warrior monk captain of the Crown Theocracy, Master Guido. I come before you only in loyal service of His Eminence. I relinquish the throne to him gladly. But those who would seize the crown by force, I will teach you to fear God and to fear me! So much for this being a fair competition. How many horses do the Sanctus have in this race? Still, it's not over by far. The Luis supporters won't take this lying down. What cowardice, Friar! Where's Count Louise? That one guy asking for Count Louise. Right, all right, settle down. At this time, I can report that Count Luis has not applied to enter the tournament. What? He's not even entering? Then what becomes of us? Our entire purpose in this race was to get closer to him. Don't worry. He's definitely paying attention. He's only in second as it is, so we can't afford to ignore this whole production. Sit tight. I'm sure he'll make a move soon. All right, all right. For those Count Louis supporters, you might want to meet our next entrant. A rising socialite, a man of ambition, godless and fearless, the brash young warrior serving Count Louis, Gladell, the Black Hound. <laughs> Him? So he was one of Louis's men. The fallen king embraced sanctism and all its holy tenants, and for what? He was nothing before Lord Luis. Look to the sky all you wish. No god can save you! What our country needs is power! Well, it's not quite all the contenders, but let's get on with the introductions. The great liberal merchant, it's Roger Ward. By war, by conquest, by right, it's Rudolf Krauss. You have to interact with In all these guys the at some point. Runners than the throne, it's thing. Lena Caden. Sure to be popular by pledging free drinks for life, it's Loveless O'Shea. Uplifting the beautiful and deposing the hideous, it's Milo Maurizio. Wow, uh, if we lose this, I think the country has some even bigger problems. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> now, I do believe we have one final candidate. Do we have an Elden Boy present? Come on, huh? let's see a face. What? An Elder? Disgraceful. The Is racism. this the only way you could think to distinguish yourself? I'll show you guys. <clears throat> by the way, the ride you applied with still hasn't arrived. And uh, if it doesn't show up by the time the noon bell rings, you're disqualified. Damn. Right? Hey, what's going on? That nitwit! What is he doing? <sighs> oh, here we go. So, More CGI. Contestants, are you ready? <laughs> what? Last, I say, wait! How'd you behave? Is that is that is that ours? Maybe. A land runner. It's quick. Wait, it's headed right for the. It'll crash. Whoa! <laughs> oh my God. 
<coughs> what the heck is that? Oh, beautiful. So much for a first impression. What the hell? Isn't he a marvel, chums? You don't! You nearly brought down the cathedral! Ooh. Have a care, you fool. It was bad enough when Luis did it the first time. That feckless, shameless old fool! Not bad, kid. <laughs> Not Guess you've got some interesting tricks up your sleeve after all. Right, I'd call that a full roster. Ladies and gentlemen, race across the land. Go, prove yourself worthy and earn your crown. For the people, for the throne. Let the games begin. We must take to the road. <laughs> so fast! Better hold on to something or I'll get blown up! It's incredible! <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Oh. Okay, we're going we're going down. <laughs> Ended up standing out more than I expected. We've got a lot of interest, but I only consider this a part of my mission to aid the prince. Okay, so it is like that. It goes down. Just a sec. Whoa, what's with this thing? Is this our carriage? Uh, can you hear me? Shall I just run her along the main road then? The others seem to be doing as such. Uh... You're just as crazy as this runner. I'll take the compliment, little lady. Now, let's have some coordinates for a little test run. What is happening right now? Um, we want to go to a place called Martira. Old Castle Town, I think, should be a way south. Oh, here we are. All right, we got it. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. City on the main road between Grand Trad and Port Br Brawlhaven. The old castle looming over the city center is an incredible sight to behold. Let, all right, well, let's wow. do it. Yeah, okay, Martira. Martira it is. Hmm. Down to Martira, eh? Oh, that's on this craft's legs. I want to say that that'll be four days, three nights, about. Oh. Four days and three nights? Th that's a great deal faster than a carriage, and surely the roads will be safer at that kind of speed. Holy good. Now cinch those britches, chaps, full steam ahead to Martira, Old Castle Town. Ooh, oh man, I'm, ex oh, I'm excited. Ooh, we can actually this move in here. This is amazing. I don't know a thing about gauntlet runners, but even I can tell this is a hell of a craft. I can hardly believe she's ours to drive. You're telling me that? Feels like ages since I've been out on the open road. This girl's been waiting long enough for her time to shine. So this is what you use to talk with the driver. Convenient, that. Look. Old fellow, are you really on our side? You realize we don't have funds to pay you. Money? Ha! I'm not in this for the money, boy. What I want is a little gusto. What do you think, lad? Isn't this a rush? It is at that. Like riding the wind. That's the ticket. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had a good chinwag. Brilliant, isn't it? I'm not interested. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. You've a good head on your shoulders, boy. Yes, I can tell you're a sharp one. We're two ladies. The world is our shellfish. <laughs> you certainly are a different person behind the wheel. Does he like not behind the wheel? Hey, Hulkenberg, can we get an explanation yet? That man is Neurus, an Ishkia, if it was not obvious from the wings. And despite <laughs> everything, he was heir to a noble house and personal machinist for the royal family. What? He's a master wow. engineer, of course, positively peerless. But as you can see, the runners get him a bit <laughs> excitable. <laughs> Hockenberg's face.
Noble District Underhall. Nioras? Are you there? I'm coming in. <laughs> Even amidst all this commotion in town, I find you buried in your work. Ah, too much to do. As always. To business then, I must ask a favor. Would you be able to ready a carriage for me? No new commissions, no time for them. Ask another right. It is not the new one I require. Before His Highness disappeared, did you not accept a contract to build him a custom carriage? Without a formal oh. owner, I reasoned that it must now lie unused. I was hoping I might borrow it a short while. But pish and tosh, woman. She is for royal use and naught else. Tis an unreasonable request, I know. But I'd not be asking without a grave need. Might I at least see it? Ah, uh, I mean, well, um... Twas specially made for his highness, yes. Not a work you'd have sold off. Where lies it now? I've deadlines to meet, dash it! Off with you now! Leave me be! You've been acting stranger than usual. What ails you? Whoa! <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god. I like Nyaris already. God. Runner, the very craft commissioned for his highness the prince even knowing his highness was gone still you toiled away oh Nuras, you are an inspiration such nobility of purpose um yes <laughs> right however for a craft meant for the royal family it is rather excessive isn't it did you really build this vehicle exactly to their orders? <laughs> you cannot mean. Well, at first, it was certainly, I followed the blueprints exactly. But then His Highness died, and, uh, well, I, I couldn't just let the old girl waste away here. A masterpiece like her? Collecting dust in storage? The freaking no! goofy music. Unacceptable! Unthinkable! <sighs> ah, I'm working toward a dream. And this... This poor old girl is going to help me see it through. And then, finally... You imbecile! A lowly, brazen court engineer butchering his highness's inheritance for a hobby! For this mania! You embezzled the royal treasury and disrespected his legacy! Treason! Ah, ah, mercy, please! Look, take my head if you must, lady, but leave the valley runner alone! Look, this runner, it is fully operational now, is it? Then I suggest you cooperate, for both our sakes. Finish your tinkering by tomorrow and bring it to the Grand Cathedral as soon as you can. Eh? What's all this now? To play the proud soldier at me and then pluck it for your own schemes? Tis no scheme! I would use it for his highness's sake. For his highness, eh? Hold a tick. Haven't you been looking for him? Wandering across God knows where last I heard. So if you're back now and... And now you want a gauntlet runner for his highness? Is... Is his highness still alive? That's it! I've got you, haven't I? 
Twas his highness who gave you refuge while you were only a heretical scholar condemned by the Sanctists. The time has come to repay his mercy. Understood. So that's how Hulkenberg got the gauntlet runner. Is that enough? Can this old duck really handle an undercover operation? I know what you're thinking, but tis at least true that he feels an undying debt of gratitude to the royal family. Pish and tosh, boy! <laughs> A little faith. Not to brag, but this old duck's craft might be the fastest portlet runner in the kingdom. Quite probably the world. I think. Maybe. How encouraging. <laughs> All I want is to push this runner as far and as fast as she can go. Show her off to the world. And you? Well, I presume you'd rather work together than have to walk, eh? I don't know about this, but I guess we'll just have to trust him. What do you think? If we die, we die together. <laughs> it's better than nothing. I think we can count on him. If we die, we die together. Well, if we die, we all die together. <laughs> <laughs> ha! The boy's bold as brass! <laughs> Tis not an invitation, you dolt. Eyes on the road. Either way, he knows the prince is alive, so we can't just leave him to his own devices. We're all in the same boat. Or runner, I guess. You lot can handle the fighting, and I'll handle all the driving and grease work. Just make sure you've got a proper plan for all this mess now. This guy's got no filter. But he has a point. We do need to talk strategy. So, summing up. Our first trial is to slay a monster. We take its head as proof, then get it to the goal line before the deadline. The bigger the head, the better. Our destination is Port Brylehaven, the capital of the Western Principality of Oceana. It'd be a trek on foot, but this gauntlet runner should make it a snap. So getting the bounty's head is our next move. And our target is a nefarious criminal who's been kidnapping and selling off children, right? A criminal? Did the task not specify a monster's head? Don't worry, all part of the plan. We don't need to win this thing. We just need to get Luis's attention. Everyone's going to show up with monster heads, and we shake things up with a felon. A knight turned kidnapper at that. Shows them we're there for justice. But to deliberately violate the rules, we risk being disqualified entirely. So clearly you never explained this to Vulcan before you left. Then again, it is just as likely to win the people's attention and thereby Luis's. I do understand the intent. What do you think of this plan? I trust all of you. Sounds impossible. Perfect. I think it's a perfect idea. Makes sense, doesn't it? The bounty's highs, mate. An ex knight. I realize that's a little close to home, Hulkenberg, so if you'd rather hang back. No. His title is precisely why I cannot let his atrocities stand. And yet, it is strange indeed that we are hunting a mere man when the trial demands a monster. Then again, our true aim is beyond the ambitions of any other aspirant. Who we'll bring him a criminal and a monster? Yours, How about that? Thank you. <clears throat> I'll try to ensure your trust isn't misplaced. Right, eh? Then our course is set. Feel free to use anything in the gauntlet runner. Even got a bathing room if you could use a wash. Good to know. We can always look around more thoroughly later. Yes. You needn't tire yourself out before we arrive. Well, I'm a tinkerer and not much else. All my fighting happens in the old workshop. But I'll take you wherever you're going for your sake and mine. After all, the wilds out there are no fairy picnic. Oh no. It's a den of wild beasts and savage scoundrels. And we'll not get past it without days on the road together. So. If you need anything besides a steady hand on the wheel, give me a hoot. Bound to find me in the cockpit or the engine room. <laughs> He's. I wonder if we're gonna have an eccentric. a bond with him. But he doesn't seem like a bad person. We'll get used to him. 
Or is he just here? <laughs> the Gauntlet Runner. The Gauntlet Runner has various areas for different activities, such as the strategy room, the lounge, and the kitchen. You can also visit Academia by finding more and interacting with them. Let's visit the engine room first. Take your time and have a look around your, on your way over there. Oh, yeah? I've never been in a Gauntlet Runner. Kind of want to see what the engine room's like. Okay. Round table. There's a map showing the area surrounding our destination, Martira. Wonder where we're at right now. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have a couple of stops. It seems like the runner makes a smooth ride. At least eccentricities aside, he certainly earned his title as court engineer. That said, I'm more concerned with his unseen workings. I do hope he ha he hasn't made any dubious additions. Courage can't begin to compete with the Gauntlet Runner's speed. I suppose they've earned their reputation. That that I'm on, I'm in constant fear of losing my lunch is far from ideal. But once I'm used to it, I'm sure the journey will be pleasant. All right. Okay. Where is the? Oh, you can just go to. Oh, it's gonna be at the very bottom. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's look. Let's look around. Let's look around. And see what's going on over here. Massive door. Door must lead to the to the end of the gauntlet runners. Locked tightly to prevent accidental entry. And I'm assuming our dudes over here. The cockpit appears to be up above here. Mind the rope, lad. Wouldn't want you going overboard. Perhaps I should stay. Perhaps I should stay away from now. How about this? Oh, we can go out to the watchtower. Oh, no, this is cool. This is really cool. Oh, my God. This is so freaking cool, dude. That's... Oh, wow. I'm just... I'm impressed. I am very impressed with with, the, with how this looks. Oh, so good. Let's head back down before we lose ourselves. Okay, what else we got going on? Got some more... Ladders. Oh, yeah. This is so Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Y you can see uh, Norris there, too, as well. This is so freaking cool. I am so excited for this. I can't run any quicker, but, you know, that's fine. He's having a grand old time. All right, what? Pantry. Oh. There's some bedow meat and red grass. I wonder who left them here. Could I could use these for cooking. Oh, we'll take that. Cool. Anything else? No, no wor no, no, no noteworthy here today. Got a food shelf. Start with food suitable for a long journey. I would prefer to cook it first before eating it. Washing area. You have to wash your dishes properly, but being that that water is a precious resource, that actually goes double. Oven. Hulkenberg said that most things are edible if you put them over a fire, but is that really true? Cooking table. It's the kitchen. I can I can prepare meals here. Cask. It's a cask of nearest secret stash. Its mellow aroma wafts into the air. Cloth the covered device. There's some sort of strange device wrapped in cloth. Looks like one of Nira's inventions in the making. Bookshelf. There are a lot of books lined up. Bookshelf. Another bookshelf. It's Nero's personal collection of books. They're too technical for me to read. I should clean up at some point. Yeah, this is where we sleep? Okay. Ah. Cloth-covered barrel. Beneath this cloth, there seems to be a big barrel. I wonder what it's used for. I'm sure we'll find out soon, soon enough. We got the toilet. Not now. There are more pressing matters at hand. Incredible. Wow, so this room's made for bathing? Can we really just hop in, hop in mid-ride and take a real bath? Now that I could get used to. I, could, I call first dip. Hey. Were you going to just... Were you just going to stride up and strip nude? Where do you think you are? Unacceptable. <laughs> it's a bathing room. <laughs> Ought to mention, no running water yet. Working on it. Ugh, unacceptable. <laughs> That's funny. Reinforced steel on top of thick glass. Doesn't appear to be easily breakable. Alright, let's head on down to the engine room corridor. Oh, there's more. I think we're okay. I don't think we have to. Let's, uh, you know, let's actually go to Academia real quick. I don't think we really need to do anything here, though. Because we don't. Well, well. Since the prince of the new archetype might have seen them, if you don't mind, if you mind, show me. Kitty cat. <laughs> Petting him is soothing in and in and in itself. Be able to forget the hustle of the outside world even for a moment. You don't. You don't. You don't think you have anything new to say? No, you don't. 
We are good. Just double check. And actually, let's head up here real quick because we do we did get a couple of new stuff. Merchant. So it's like research documents from the merchant. In times of yore, there lived heroes who inskewed the blade, but won their fortune through masterful negotiation. Their souls together formed the power of the merchant. Among them, the elite who seeks to control the world of profits and loss and losses, finding victory and superior deal making. I dubbed the tycoon. The merchant archetype attacks with money rather than mind or body, and bears the power to gain rewards beyond victory in battle. But viewed in another light, it is only as powerful as the war chest that funds it. And without coin, it has nothing. Let no merchant forget this truth. So this archetype increases battle rewards just by being in a party. And while its money-consuming skills are strong, we don't want to let them overspend. Interesting. This looks like a research brawler. In times of yore, there lists hero brawler. Among them, the adept disciple of the critical hit, a, hit I dubbed the pugilist, and the elite master of the martial, martial form I dubbed the martial artist. The brawler archetype combines speed with powerful critical hits, and as its name indicates, is a master fighter. However, to dedicate one's body to the ideal, to the ideal of strength is to is to dedicate one's life to battle, and this power exerts a toll on the wielder. Let no brawler forget this truth. Oh, really? So this archetype expends its own health. In exchange for physical attacks and powerful critical hits, it's speedy too, but if you use too much HP, you, lo you leave yourself vulnerable. Among them, the adept who walks the path of salvation I dubbed the cleric, and the elite guardian of all things holy I dubbed the savior. The healer archetype is not only peerless in its healing and purification on the battlefield, but it is a master of offensive light magic as well. But in choosing to heal, one must sacrifice the strength to harm, or to resilience to act as a shield. Let no healer forget this truth. So this archetype is a supporting role with great healing magic and some offense with light magic, but otherwise it's pretty fragile. This looks like research documents about the knight. Among them, the adept sentinel of both steel and magic I dubbed the magic knight, and the elite selfless paragon of grace I dubbed the paladin. Per its name, the knight archetype is an unparalleled protector, but it is said that another elite form, the knight's shadow, is also known to exist. Yet in times of conflict, there are battles that cannot be solved by shield alone, and those of blade and spell must bear that burden, let no knight forget this truth. So this archetype has great defense and strong resistances, but might be lacking in offense. Sounds like having the right allies to make use of this is synthesis, synthesis attacks is key. Okay, cool to know, good to know. Glad I came back to read those. All right, let's head on out of here. Upright cleaning tool, maybe not now. Nearest desk, nearest research desk. This must be where new inventions are born. Small cabinet. Some unique items are lined up here. Nearest personal belongings, I think. There are a fluffy bag that's perfect for sitting on. If I sat on it, I don't think I'd be able to move. Anything else we can look at? I've never spilled the fragrance before. I can't tell whether it's used for food or fuel. Washing machine. A machine that does laundry, handmade by Nearest. Seems there's nothing in it at the moment. Oh, is this gonna be for like appraisal, maybe? All right, into the, into the corridor room we go. I wonder what makes this thing run. First time on the gauntlet runner, eh? Whoa, that scared me. Looks like that pipe's in here too. Call the runner phone. There's one in every room. Now, I believe I heard you speculate on the old girl's inner workings. Gauntlet runners use magma crystals as fuel to run, you see. Used to be your, uh, your take your life in your hands when you traveled the wilds. Then thanks to the kingdom's greatest minds, the gauntlet runner was born. The runner's actual legs are based on the colossal beast, made for zero momentum loss, even on the roughest terrain. Among other things, I've modified this craft with a bit more zip and speed. Another step closer to my dream. Mm -hmm. What dream? Long story, my girl. Best told to a captive audience with no plans for the next few days and nights. Mm. Uh, never mind then. Maybe some other time. Anyway, still plenty about the old girls. Old girl, that's a work in progress, but by the time I'm done, I shall have some new tricks. You just watch. Um. It'll be sunset before long, so start thinking about bedding now down for the night. Can't run in the dark, and the old girl needs her rest as much as we can as we do. Cool. Gauntlet Runner activities. You will continue toward your destination while spending time on the Gauntlet Runner. Utilize its facilities to obtain items, raise abilities, or do other things you wouldn't be able to do in town. Try using the kitchen, reading books at the bookshelf, or using the washing machine. More activities will become available over time. Okay. You can also spend time with your allies and work on virtues. I've never seen an igniter like this before. A magic igniter enormous compared to those used by the army, if I recall correctly. It uses magma crystals as fuel. Okay. Interesting. Right, let's head on back up. I'm guessing it's for appraisal, that washing machine. Speaking of. Nera said he got the kitchen up and running. If you're hungry, would you fancy a meal? Probably consider myself a chef of any great skill, but Stroll said he wanted to try some of the recipes he learned at the Hush Honey Bee. 
Let's get cooking. Use the gauntlet writer's cooking table to whip up some food for you and your allies. Eating prepared meals can grant your party various positive effects. To cook, you'll need ingredients. Buy them, win them, or find them laying around. Try to experiment as much as possible. After you've made every dish at least once, you may learn how to create the ult ultimate culinary masterpiece. There's some ingredients here. Maybe Nera's went been shopping. Oh, cool. Whose handwriting is that? There are notes here about new potential recipes. Ooh, okay. Red grass roasted bedo, okay. Curative cunny roast, cunny stew. Holistic white fish platter, critical meatballs recipe, steadfast stew recipe. Precision form, ferment, fermented ribs, still black bread recipe. Wow, that's a lot. Wanna make something? If so, we should try to have everyone teach us their culinary spe specialty. Eh, not right now. Cool. So we got a couple of recipes. That's gonna be on our thing as well in the page page thing no where's it going to be at or do we just not know or is it just like key item maybe oh yeah it's, it's the key item okay so it tells us what we need cool all right let's talk to Sh oh Shola's passed out right now he's rather tired Ugh, i feel oh don't you vomit here are you okay sorry i'll survive i can handle the swaying of a carriage but this it's another beast. Seems I need to learn to endure it. Ugh, I feel sick. Ah, uh, poor dude. All right, so we can actually read some books here. Books I can read are the New World Diary, New New World Travel Diary, and Pride and Persuasion. Let's go ahead and read the New World Di Travel Diary. This appears to be a fictional chronicle of a boy's journey in a fanciful place called the New New World. Haven't started reading it yet. Seems like a book that will really expand the mind. Want to read it together or by the window? Ooh, more imagination. Yeah, sure. Let's freaking do this. Actually, To be honest with you, I've realized something. There are so many things in this world which, very simply, I don't understand. There are so many things I've learned since we started traveling together. Road is vast, same here. You've matured. Now we're talking. You've really matured. What? What are you saying? That I was immature before? It's not like you knew, you knew any more about the world than I did. Hey, Sky. I know this is this time we're traveling for our mission, but if all goes well, I want to go another on another journey where I'm free to do what I want. I hear you. Sounds like fun. Maybe I'll write a book about it. So then, should I write a book about your travels or our travels? Good idea. Just make sure to include me as a co-author. All right. Of course, if I want to contribute further to whatever you do in the future, I have to keep working hard. Well, can you think of anything I can do to help you out? Always encourage me. You're already helping me plenty. Teach me more. <laughs> Just teaching me and telling me things is great. Mm -mm. I'm not really all that knowledgeable, though. That's how you feel, though. I'll gladly tell you every insight I have. With everything we've been through, I've realized that knowledge is an invaluable asset. I want to keep experiencing new, wonder experiencing new wonders, so let's never stop learning together. This conversation kind of went off in a unique direction, huh? Let's keep reading the book for a bit. <laughs> Hmm, it describes a new world. If a place other than this really exists, I'd like to visit someday. <gasps> my, All right. my imagination has, has gone up! We're almost there. Got four points to that. So yeah, I'm pretty sure four points is the max. Still more left to read in this book. I'll pick it up from here next time. The Gauntlet Runner arrives at the desert camp as the scorching sun sinks below the horizon and the curtain of night falls over the land. Protected within the stalwart hull of the Gauntlet Runner, the party gains a short, peaceful respite. Desert Camp. Establishing, the, establishing an encampment. At night, the vast wilderness outside town is ens ensconced in darkness. Forcing your way through the unmarked terrain is very dangerous, even with the stalwart gauntlet runner. Instead, establish camp somewhere safe. You can resume your travels the next morning. While, while at an encampment, you can use any of the facilities on the gauntlet runner, like usual. But you can also reminisce about the journey with your allies. Give it a try. Three days until we reach Mar Martira. First time camping in a, in a gauntlet runner. I'm kind of excited, but it'll be a long night, so why not spend some time relaxing with someone? Ho oh, ho! How was how was the ride? Smooth as butter, as butter, luxurious as a palace. 
Uh, inspiring, tear jerking. I wouldn't go that far, absolutely. Wah, this run is such a guilty pleasure. Though credit where it's due, my tinkering certainly help, helped make make her what she is. Though full disclosure, that's all thanks to a little mechanism I whipped together that keeps her legs from sinking into the dunes. Wouldn't have to worry about the terrain if she could just fly. Well, that's a story for another day. Off you go. Better get your 40 winks. There are insects gathering by the campfire. Oh, apparently you can get you, you eat these bugs. Well, according to Hulkenberg, anyway. I should try and catch one. We got a Lumibee. Lumibee. Got one of the bugs gathered by the complex. Or by the campfire. When it's my turn to cook, I should use it as an ingredient. Okay, so maybe we can do something here every, every day, maybe? I don't know. Straw, what are you doing? Where, actually, where's uh, where's Hulkenberg? Is Hulkenberg gonna be inside, maybe? We're gonna, we're gonna I wanna hang out with Straw, but I'm wondering, because if we hang out with Straw, we'll get more imagination. Oh, there she is. I know, she's, she's just doing her own thing. She's, she's chilling. You're looking, f looking for something to do. My weapons are as sharp as they're going to get. I'm not too, and I'm not up too much. Care to keep me company for a while? Here we can talk with Stroll. No then. So next up is Martira. Feels like just yesterday when I first arrived in the Royal Capital. So much has happened in such a short span of time. I met you. We went over to the Northern Fortress and awakened a mysterious power. I had once thought magic like this only existed in heroic tales of times long past. Speaking of. Speaking of which, I've been thinking that perhaps this is the same power that Hero Kings once used. If that's the case, then why do you think so many of, of them met miserable ends? They had no allies. They lost their greater power. They had no allies. What's that about it? Maybe they lacked allies? Oh, I see, I see. I see. Try as they might, even the strongest king wouldn't be able to establish a country by himself. Perhaps it's not a matter of how much power you have, but how you choose to wield it. Moreover, we've got more than one power at our disposal, and on top of that, we've got allies who share these abilities as well. If we continue to master these archetypes, then maybe, j maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to surpass the great hero, king hero kings of old. Though all this does make me wonder, just how many more of these powers are still out there? All right. And more pips, four pips into imagination. Or, or almost at rank two in imagination. Come now, it's too early for bed. Let's talk some more. Good times. Stroll and I talked for a while. Time marches on. And I got the some mag. A new king draws nearer. Good morning. Top of the morning to you, my dear passengers. It shows that the sleeping quarters more than exceeded your ex expectations, eh? True. They're better than I'd feared, considering how tiny they are. But I've got a question of my own. Isn't this des Desert Sand going to do a number on this runner? <laughs> my boy, remember who maintains this rugged girl. Nary a grain of sand could fit between her, her seams. I assure you, regardless, we'll be leaving these arid dunes behind tomorrow. I knew it. Wow, runners really are neat, aren't they? A carriage would never be able to get through the desert this fast. But, uh, just... Keep an eye on the road, okay, Nurus? <sighs> We're arriving Martyr in two days, huh? You know, I'm really enjoying everything about this game so far. Like, no doubt about it. Like, this is honestly one of the best Atlas games I've played. I mean, I play, I, I love the Persona series as well. We got some rock beans and gauntlet shrooms. Do they grow here? I could use these for cooking. But it's just really interesting, you know? Like, I really like it a lot. Like, the music is great so far. Everything about this game is amazing so far. It's very exciting to see where exactly we're gonna go with this story and everything. Obviously, we're, we're gonna become a uh, king, right? Right? I don't know. But it is, it's just really cool to just go around and uh, do stuff. Hey, Sky, good timing. I was about to do some maintenance on my, we on my weapons. If you've got t time, why not join me? It's as refreshing for the time as if it is for battles. Maintaining my weapon may help me improve my cur my focus during a fight, during a fight, and hone my courage. Do you want to hone your weapons with straw? Yeah, let's do it. Now then. Right, let's have a look at your blade then. Even though I don't, I'm not currently using a blade, I'm using a staff. But you know, 
You'll think I'll, I'm getting ahead of myself here, but after things settle down, I'd like to live without the sword. I admire the idea of a world where monsters and senseless violence don't exist, where nothing is taken from me by others. That's why, one day, I want to restore my ruined hometown to its former glory. And not just mine, all the ruined hometowns. Hey. How about you? I share my plan. Let's hear yours. What do you do when the fight's over? I want to travel? I'm not sure. I'd like to help you. Uh, I wanna, I'd like to help you. Because if we say this, maybe we'll get pips? <laughs> yeah. Huh, are you serious? I'm a bit relieved to hear it, to tell you the truth. I've got to get stronger. Even if the village gets rebuilt, it's all for naught if it's attacked by monsters again. I I want to be strong enough to rid this country of monsters, not leave it to a spineless army and its incompetent generals. They only have the power to kill those who oppose them. They have no desire to protect their people, just like Luis. Corruption is everywhere. We'll fight for change. I want to do something about that too. Yeah. I agree. But seeing the state of your ar of our country's army, I'm I'm all the more glad you're our captain, truly. You resolved to stand on the front line of our fight, so it's only right that you lead. Ha! <laughs> our fight, I say. Force my way into your mission. Hey. I envy you sometimes, you know? To act with such conviction. How does one become so bold? I do what I must. I waver sometimes. I just do whatever. I do what I must. Yeah. When do you know what needs to be done? One step at a time. Right. Easier said than done. I also fixate on the past. I lose sight of the, the present sometimes. You always look forward, and that's what I envy about you. All this to say, I, I have faith in you. We have more battles ahead, and I'll be counting on you to get us through them. In the end, the king will determine will be determined by what the people think of us ju as justice. They're free to make their choices, but so is the one being chosen. When will it end up being, being after all this? Anyway, the sword's shining like new. Let's finish this up. Came from my weapon, it has fortified my will to fight as well as increase my courage. Courage! Um, Rank two, we're spirited now! Courage. Tis one of the virtues a ruler must possess. If thou asp aspire to true sovereignty, kindle the flame of thy courage to ignite the heart of thy people. Oh, a conqueror needs that precious kindling with which a follower of passions may be inflamed. I spent some time with Stroh holding our weapons. And we get 1300 mag. Love it. I say, uh, we could stop for a break. Oh, a break time, chums. There's something up ahead, so we'll be stopping there. Coming now into view is the Tree of Prophecy, a resplendent tapestry of color against the backdrop of the bleak desert. One theory is that the tree's roots gorge on the land's magla. And still another is that it gorges on those enraptured by its colorful foliage, as though themselves snared by the bewitching magnet surrounding the tree. The gauntlet runner comes to a stop at its base. Alrighty. Uh. Here we are. Shall we get a closer look? Tree of Prophecy. Oh wow, it's so pretty. It's not just the leaves. It's that so the whole area has been, has been painted red. Well, listen to this music. Certainly. This place calls to mind a picture book I read as a child. I told of a great tree located somewhere within the country, whose color shifted to foretell unusual events in the times ahead. How exactly would would a tree foretell the future? And how does a plant grow this huge in the middle of a desert? Hmm, I'm not sure if this explains it, but I'm sensing an incredible amount of maglin in the air. If your hypothesis is correct, that would make this no mere tree, no, no sir, but a magical organism that feeds off of magla. As a matter of scientific research, I must document this discovery. Nearest pulled a sheet of paper and a brush from his pocket and began to draw the landscape in front of him. Hey. Wow, Nurse, how did you get so good at drawing? Yeah. Ah, my boy. Meticulous documentation is the foundation of a good research. There you have it. I'm finished here. Take it as a keepsake. You're giving it to me? 
You're sure I can have this? Yeah. Yes, yes, of course. I've already committed it all to the safety of my, of my mind. I have no need for the sketch itself anymore. You got a tree of, tree of po prophecy drawing. I received Norris's research picture. The drawing is in intricately detailed and could accurately convey the full majesty of this place to a viewer who has never been here. Hey there! Hey, why don't we give, give that to Maria? I bet she'd love to see something from our journey, and we could tell her a story about this place. Next time we're in Grand Trad, I should give this drawing to Maria. Huh? Huh. A magical organism in, f in the form of a tree. Say, aren't fairies in the same classification? Precisely. Galica's most precious treasure as well. I've been observing her very closely, which is which has given me great insight into my own research and flight. Huh? What? You've been observing me this whole time? I don't recall you asking, so knock it off. However, Turning our attention back to the tree, I've heard that its tints it felt itself blue to herald the arrival of favorable developments. I wonder what manner of anomaly it, its current color portends. We took a brief detour, but I feel that seeing the various eye has broadened my wisdom. All right. And we get four pips to wisdom! Oh okay, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a while till we get to rank three in Winston. The gauntlet runner arrives in a quiet That's clearing, cool. concealed by boulders, as darkness reclaims the wilderness for itself. Monsters run rampant in the wilds. To sleep here would be perilous, unless from within the safety of a gauntlet runner. The party, secure in their gauntlet runner, spends the night in peace. Hidden from hungry gazes. I really, I love, the, I like this a lot. I love that we get little scenes in between stuff, so it's not just like, oh, you've done this thing. Now, now you just gotta catch night and not get us. I mean, I mean that does happen too in other games, but this is really cool. How we keep on, like, keep on, like, keep it on, you know, keep it up with everything. So it's just really cool. We'll be in Martyr the day after tomorrow. Wonder what kind of place Martyr is. Memorandum. Let's actually see what's up in there. Tree of Prophecy. The towering rich crimson tree of overwhelming presence that rises from the middle of the desert, roughly halfway between Grand Trad and Martira. In reality, it is a magical plant that feeds in, on ambient magla as its nutrients. As a result, it is sensitive to sub, sub, subtleties in nature such as weather and earthquakes, and is said to reflect impending natural disaster through the color of its foli foliage. In recent years, both its leaves and the surrounding fog have been tinged, tinged red. I've never before seen reaction. Superstitious wonder if this new omen marks days, mark days to come. Okay. A tribe, a uh, Ishkid tribe, a tribe recognizable by their uh, avian wings as well as their almond eyes and long eyelashes. Though the fewest in number of the eight tribes, they have a reputation for their intelligence, gave them a strong presence in bigger cities. Many find higher status in intellectual labor, such as scholars and sanctors, and we like and the like, making it not uncommon for Ishkia to be wealthy. Due in part to their regal stature, the Ishkia are commonly admired. However, the act of speaking down on others has been ingrained in their nature for some, for some, making it just as common as common for them to be presented. Incidentally, their avian-like wings are purely cosmetic, though they, they are able to move them to a small degree. They have no structure. They're actually just clusters of father, fathers of feathers. Those who aren't fond of the Ishkia latch onto this deficiency of flight to ridic ridicule them. Okay, let's read about uh, Nuris real quick. Nuris Korax, a gen genius engineer of the Ishkia tribe, he can single handedly manage all things Gauntlet Runners, from planning to maintenance to piloting, and was contracted to build a Prince's Gauntlet Runner before the Prince vanished. He comes from a noble, highly respected family with a stately mansion in Grand Trad, but as he shows absolutely no interest in social status or family prestige, is dismissed by his family as an unmanageable oddball. Despite his pedigree, his appointment to build the Prince's Runner was solely based on merit, not his social standing. Since then, Nerys has retained a strong sense of gratitude toward the royal family. Unfortunately, as both the Prince and King met successive suspicious ends, Nerys was unable to repay their favor, which burdened him greatly. Glodel Idias Glodel, a young Rosant warrior who serves Louise in his lower rungs. Keeping his dog at his side, even in battle, he's earned the title the Black Hound. Out of both fear and ridicule, because Louise did not formally enter the tournament for the throne, Glodel had entered of his own volition to secure Louise's following and act as a proxy for the support. He hopes that if he can make a name for himself in the tournament, Louise will acknowledge him. Okay. Gideix. 
Ovis Gideix, a muscular, bald-headed Rusant warrior who serves as both Captain of the Monk Army, the enforcement arm of the Crown Theocracy, and Forden's primary bodyguard. He assumed the role of captain after his predecessor lost his life during the suppression of the Mage Academy in Monterio. He specializes in a unique fighting style that combines magic, staff, and spear techniques, passed down through generations of warrior monks. Oh wow, interesting. An engineer that designs a paint and maintains gauntlet runners, because magma crystals, pa crystals power runners, engineers need to be familiar with the workings of magic and magic igniters. Oh, oops. But they also need to be well versed in a wide range of fields, from dragon crystal technology for movement to armaments for battle. As the costs required are substantial, engineers all almost exclusively come from noble families who own gauntlet runners. Got Milo. Milo Mauricio, an Ishkia candidate participating in the tournament, precisely a prince princely man claiming to be an illegitimate son of the Monterio royal family. He pledges to adopt a caste system based on beauty, with himself the most beautiful of all, but bestowing grace and honor upon the country as its king. His suave looks and mannerisms have earned him a devout following. Each time he smiles from the stage on this gauntlet runner, the palace of beauty, Hildebrand, shrill screams can be heard from the crowd. Barden? Alpha Spartan, a strapping Rosant warrior serving as captain of the Guard Corps in Martyra. A man of integrity, his careful and fair judgment is so trusted. He's treated as right-hand man to the Lady of Martyra. He traveled a great distance to Grand Trad to pose the bounty for the criminal responsible for an unsolved series of kidnappings plaguing Martyra. Albus Batlin, a Clamar man who works as a crier for the Crown Theocracy. Most criers prefer rhetoric that ven venerates the strengths strengthens the authority of sanctism and the royal family, but Batlin is the opposite, prioritizing the provocations of the people, as though commentating on, commentating on a sport. Though highly admired amongst the townspeople, he drew the, the ear of the of the crowned theocracy for his roguish methods. However, when the royal magic made what amounted to one's popularity the sole factor in succession, the crowned theocracy pivoted, suddenly assigning Batlin to monumental responsibility of heading sanctism's public relations as the tournament's official crier. What are you thinking about, Stroll? Grand Trad could dazzle even the darkest night. Out here, you can barely see the horizon. It's a comforting reminder of home, if I'm honest. I just couldn't appreciate it from a swaying gauntlet runner. Yes, I ate a bit, and that helped. I almost envy Hulkenberg's ability to eat anything, anytime, anywhere. Hmm. Haven't always been this weak, but this swaying takes me back to times I'd, soon, I'd sooner forget. After I lost my home, I was tossed between relatives, and each time it became... It began with an agonizing journey in a rocking carriage. I suppose that's why I find my mind drifting to Halia. I often wonder how the people who survive are faring now. Well, we hung out with Stroll yesterday, so why don't we hang out with Hulkenberg today? Ah, oh, well, I met. I don't suppose you're as overburdened with free time as I am. I'm certainly no stranger to traveling, but I've no idea how to spend idle hours. If the, if the idea appeals, let me talk a bit. By recalling the past, and we can bring up our imagination. Let's do it. This power we Vulcan to. I've all sorts of questions, but what I really find curious are these forms we take on. Each has their own their own unique aspects, but one bit they all have in common is their armor-like appearance. What do you make of that? Kinda of scary. It's cool. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. <laughs> Never seen armor like that. Mm -hmm. True. The designs do set them apart, but it was not their actual appearance I meant to ask about. In my opinion, the armor encloses the, range, the raging forces within us, allowing us to direct that power as one directs a horse by its reins. It is said people lose their magic because they re refuse to confront the fears and anxieties, forever unaware of that power lurking within them. Is that not then the very condition to awaken our slumbering power? Also, hence why is it so exhausting and why it, it cannot be maintained for long? The ravenu appetite I had, I had afterwards its proof. We do well to practice diligence maintaining our food food reserves. Now then. And our imagination went up, and now we're at, we're inspired. Imagination. Why that's. All right, so we have three rank twos now, which is pretty cool. It's getting quite late. We've we have ways to go yet, so I would very much like to continue chatting with you. Alright. We got 250 from that one. We didn't get a lot. That time. As time marches forward. Oh.
Oh. <gasps> Full on anime cutscene. <laughs> So bumpy. Oh. That'd be the change in terrain, lad. <sighs> See, you got to let the suspensions get used to hard ground instead of soft sand. <sighs> Must be nice to fly everywhere. <laughs> <sighs> what the? Did we just crash? Of course not. That's a. A cannonade. <laughs> a cannonade. Whoa. My star is rising. Ah! Yo, why are we fighting each other? Sanctism will Oh, rain. they're fighting. It's them. What are they fighting for? Remember from the opening ceremony. I think one of them is Guido, Forden's confidant. And the other is Luis's man, Gladell. Prominent candidates. Damn. Shouldn't the king's magic petrify them for their aggression? No, see where they're aiming. They're not shooting to kill, just to take out the opposing runner's legs. Doesn't look like they're trying to land a fatal shot. Okay. She's aiming to break the opposite side's gauntlet runner. Stuck out in the wilds with no working runner. Well, they survive or not, and then dash it well out of the race. So it is a clash to halt each other's advance. Damn fools couldn't resist a show of force. Look, over by the legs. That crier is there too. I see. Acting as witness to the higher candidate's conflict. It seems Gladell cannot match Godot's firepower. <sighs> Our plan hinges on winning Louise's favor. Can we afford to abandon Gladell if he's one of the Luis's supporters? What's our plan? If we just hang back and watch, Godot's gonna win. And Forden gets a leg up on the competition. Let's help out Gladell. Let's see how it plays out. I guess let's help out Gladell, right? Let's give Gladell a hand here. Good thinking. That way we could win Luis's regards. Agreed. Let us ride to Gladell's aid. Ah. Hey, hold on! You realize you're a no-name candidate? If he wants to shut you out, he'll not have to aim for just our legs. It's a runner, isn't it? If things get too dicey, we'll just run. Didn't you say we have the fastest craft around? Uh, fine. Suppose there's no room for caution if we want the world's eyes on us? Okay, then, it's settled. Let's make sure he owes us big. Let's do it. There should be an external runner phone out there. We're here to help. Withdraw, Gladell. Who goes there? Why do you stand for Luis's forces? Well, um, sorry, can't get into it now. That Gordon. You're that common candidate who destroyed the Grand Cathedral. Was that not enough? You would profane the saint for the second time. So be it. In God's name, be thou punished. Godot and his monks have boarded the deck. Looks like he knows the magic won't shield us. He's aiming to kill us here and now. Oh, here we go. You dare interfere in my fight? Know your place. Is it fame you seek? You thought by confronting me, you might lift your own names. Then you chose the wrong opponent. Oh, yeah? I hate to interrupt, Oleg, but it's a touch more complex than that. We of the Crown Theocracy's monk army have silenced all who would oppose the eminence of God. Your petty ruses are beneath me. Now you shall know how powerful Yeah, we're definitely going to be bumping are. into every single candidate at some point. Remember, the King's magic means we cannot move to strike the Doe himself. Go for his followers first. We'll thin their numbers and turn the tide. Go, my brethren. Put the fear of God into these impious commoners. Don't forget about the petrification magic. Okay. Let's analyze. Oh, not that. Guess 
I'm still trying to get used to the. No, not that. You first. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whatever. Oh well. Oh, ooh, okay, they're tough. Let's go. Mm, let's try lightning. Let's go after his followers. Okay, he resists that. Godot puts on a cocky smirk. Ooh, ooh, he's that's some damage. What could you hope to achieve? I won't lose. Okay. Let's tr Let's try this. Okay, that's some good damage. Let's try Blizz. Nice, there's your weakness. Oh. Oh, whatever, it's fine. So we yeah, are not can't do anything to us. Okay. So now let's have you after. Oh, there's some damage. What I wanted to do was status? No, not that. Oh, I need to heal. I just realized I need to heal. Let's go ahead and cover Hulkenberg. More resilient than I expected. I would lose nothing by conceding this fight. But the faithful are watching. For the sake of my dear brethren, I must hold nothing back. Now! Feel the righteous truth of sanctism engraved upon your flesh. Is this mean he's getting Rise, my oh my god. Power thrust. Ooh, that wasn't fun. Oh my god, he's getting all our weaknesses. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude, this is not cool. Oh my god, I just, I just died. Oh man. Ah, oh, yikes. Let's use fairy dust here. Oh, this sucks. Wait, no, if I, if I, if I pass. Oh man, I wish I could change my archetype. Oh well. A crit? Come on now. Oh man, this is, this is not easy. Okay. At least it gives us more turns, or gives it gives us more to do. Let's go ahead and do Tarkaj on myself. Let's try this. Uh, that's nothing. He's doing up. Oh, we got a crit. We got a okay. The crit didn't do anything. Okay, if he can just avoid hitting me and hitting Olkenberg, that'd be great. He's healing. So, no, he's not. That's a, that's a move. Oh jeez. Oh my god, bro. I need to revive. I'm glad I'm glad I have revival beads or revival medicine. Let's go for Diagonal Strike on you. Mage holiness. Ugh. Oh my god, this is this is actually really hard. Okay. Oh now he's getting Oh, they're getting our weaknesses, dude. Oh It missed? You've got to be joking. Okay. At least we're kind of back, kind of back high on our HP here. This is hard. This is actually really difficult. I wanted to analyze him just so I can see what uh, level he is. It's unfair because we can't hit him. Oh my God, man! You've got to be joking. Uh, who gets two turns? Is that that dude? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Them getting the weakness is what's killing us. Oh my god. Now Hulkenberg's dead. Jesus, bro. And I keep having to use myself to heal. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank goodness for RNG right there. There. So, the faithful are broken before you, yet your desperate struggling is for naught. You cannot defy the inevitable. I am immune to all your wicked harms. Oh, he gets to do whatever he wants, and we can't even get near him! 
<laughs> Bend the knee and yield to the divine truth of sanctism. Oh my god. We ain't get experience from that. Now, are you prepared for the end? Ha! I think not, you rotter! Sure. What have you done to my gauntlet runner? We're nothing to lose. At the very least, I can thrash your own clunker until it's inoperable. This is a waste of my time. So be it. You'll face your divine punishment soon enough. Yeah, get out of here. Phew. Finally, he took the hint. Hey, get down here. What are you playing at? You think I owe you now or something? I would have been fine without your meddling. Are you hurt? I guess you, could, you live to see another day. What did the hell? I guess you live to see another day. I guess you survive this time. Don't you talk down to me. You want to see what I'm really capable of. Like Liddell, surely you can spare some manners for a crew that saved our lives? Honestly, that got a bit ugly for my liking. Well, well, was she the girl that was well. singing? Do my eyes deceive, or no, somebody please? else. Juna, the oh no, it is Juna. Flesh. What brings you all else. the way out here? A little tryst on the road, is it? Nothing so saucy. I'm afraid this cad's just my chauffeur. Now please, darling, a little privacy, or I'll have to charge for an interview. Fair enough, miss. Fair enough. Nothing you're not used to. But consider me chasing and shoe. Besides, I might have found another angle here that's just as promising. What are you talking about? You surprised me out there, love. You bested Godot. Took a while, but we did it. We didn't die a couple of times in, in the process. So you're not just a pretty face. You were more help than my useless driver, at least. <sighs> Look here. However talented and famed a songstress she may be, you must remember to contain yourselves. Hulkenberg, I think I think you should be taking your own advice here. Songstress? Wait, is she the same needy lady who sang at the opening ceremony? Cause I think maybe she's the one that's fun to forget about. I mean, N N Norris is definitely freaking out right now. I, but that's oh, blasted all! I can't take it anymore. Oh my God! I oh, he's like he'll... those suspensions <laughs> anywhere. You had Caden Oh my eh? gosh. Yes, those are quality parts and no mistake. Luis really shells out for his own. He is freaking out over the gauntlet runner. I should have expected that. By the crown, you can't be serious. She is Juno, the kingdom's greatest singer, the dulcet diva. Oh, this is preposterous. Surely I can't be the only one starstruck? Really? <laughs> No one else wants to shake her hand? Well, then on behalf of this group, I... I suppose it falls to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're an interesting little ensemble. Wait, is that a fairy? A real living one? Where did you... Hey, up there! Oh. An airborne gauntlet runner. He's actually finished it. That's a that's a big boy. Go, oh. Luis. We come face to face with Luis for the for the first time and actually interacting with him. My lord Luis. How kind to provide a personal escort. So that's it. I thought it was strange that a candidate like Gladell got stuck playing someone's driver. 
but she was still the Sanctist's pick for the opening ceremonies? Guess even Forden's camp has to bend to popular opinion. My humblest apologies, my lord Louis, for this travesty, especially when you had graced me with the privilege of bearing the lovely Lady Juna. Glad to see Lady Juna's safe, at least. Short parapus. Hmm. Tall parapus. I could have crushed that churchman like a bug. And I would have if these insolent fools had it. I'm sure. Sorry, don't much care. <laughs> It would seem you had to clean up my associate's mess. I'd like to express my gratitude, but if I might ask, who are you? Your candidate for your supporters. Take a wild guess. For your supporters. Uh, I'm a candidate, so it'd be straight up. I'm just another candidate. Indeed. Then we are both striving for the throne. One would think you commoners, but for the Lady Knight at your side. And you have a gauntlet runner. Most curious. What made you decide to enter the competition? Looks like he's more interested than we anticipated. This might be our chance, so choose your words wisely, okay? <sighs> he's asking why he became a candidate. How should I respond? To help you, Count Louis. To help save the prince to become king. To help save the prince. To help you. To help you, Count Louis. I want to help you, Count Luis. Oh? You fight in my name, do you? Yeah, let's, let's go with that. <laughs> really now? So you thought you'd step in for a little self-promotion? We want to help anyone in need. That's what we believe in. Anyone? Most interesting. However, my immediate needs are met in terms of sword hands. Oh, come now. Don't they have a certain charisma to them? Why? I dare say I saw them use magic without igniters. Please, I know we can help you. We want nothing more than to see your vision realized, Lord Luis. Am I the only one that feels uncomfortable about this? I, I feel like I'm the only one that feels uncomfortable about this, but you know what? We gotta play to the favor. You gotta play to the favor of Luis, right? To make sure he doesn't suspect anything of us. You do know what that vision is built on, don't you? If you would claim yourself my ally, then prove your power before all the kingdom's eyes. You can't change the world without power, after all. If you can manage that, I'll consider your proposal. See you, Lux. Don't think this changes anything. Come on, Hector. Come on, doggo. <laughs> it soars like a damn bird. Right then, that could have gone worse. We were lucky we managed to connect with Luis this early. No thanks to that Gladell. Even should we be accepted, he'll be no ally of ours. Well, at the very least, Luis knows our faces. All we have to do now is avoid screwing it up. Yeah. He wants to see our power, does he? Then let's find Heisme, bring him to justice, and show the nation we're a force to be reckoned with. As the chirping birds return to their nests, and the darkness claims its dominion, the gauntlet runner at last arrives at its repose, a place grown thick with trees. Are the sounds from between the trees just the leaves being caressed by the wind? Or are they the whispers of the beguiling beings of the dark? The party never has to find out, for they are safe within the Gauntlet Runner. We're gonna start a, a bond with this with Nurus. I bet you this is it. I bet you this is it. This is a specific scene with Nurus starting it. This has to be it. I. Uh, did you hear that? It's over. The end of the road. So ends the life of the genius engineer. What say we go check on him? Ah. Uh. 
Oh, is this where he's, is this where he's gonna tell me about the igniter here? Hey, Nurus, you okay? Oh, you two. Terribly sorry. It's, it's nothing, really. Seem troubled. Is there something troubling you? Ah, well, I suppose you could say that. It's just the runner, you see? She's in top shape, but... I wanted to make her peerless. An absolute beauty, you know, top of her class. Something that would make even old Luis's runner look like a burly apple cart. I'd not be floundering so much if I just had a bit of spark. A spark? Yes, my girl. A spark of inspiration. A moment of epiphany, like when I saw the lost relic. Lost relic? Doesn't ring a bell. Ah, oh, yes, context. Uh, they say that long, long ago, there was a civilization so highly advanced it was beyond all modern understanding. Automation ruled the day. People lived surrounded by machinery with no need to work. Legend has it that they lived lives of convenience and comfort. But, somehow, that civilization just up and disappeared. God only knows what happened to them. Sounds kind of far-fetched already. Hear me out, would you? The point is, once in a stretch, you hear about someone unearthing relics from those days of yore. Absolutely inscrutable to the layman, don't you know? But those in the know, don't you know? recognize such a prize at a single glance. Have you seen one? Have you ever seen one of these yourself? Oh, yes. When I was but a young sproblet, there was this loony old inventor in my neighborhood, both quite brilliant and quite daffy, as they often are. That old fellow only showed me his find once, but even seeing it lit a fire in me, like being struck by lightning. After that, it was like a boiling pot. Ideas, ideas, ideas rising to the surface. And my tinkering always came out marvelous. Some proper court engineer worthy genius. Something about it utterly captured my imagination. The, the, the lost relic, I mean. Wow. Uh, you could try getting him to show you again. If only I could. That old fellow went back to his own hometown. That single solitary glimpse of the past was all I had. The old goat. He told me he'd leave me the relic in his will. Okay. So where's this guy's hometown? Oh, some tiny hamlet somewhere on the outskirts of Martira. A village by the name of Kumiro or some such. Maybe I should look into Kumero when we get to Martira. Oh, this one's okay. Important. No, no bond, but a quest. Okay, we'll take it. An old inventor near us once knew us living in Kumero, a village near Martira. He may be able to tell us more about the relic he once showed near us. We left Nerus, who dissolved into doom and gloom again, and headed towards our narrow sleeping quarters in the Gauntlet Runner. Time marches on. As time the marches age forward, of the new king draws nearer. So we'll arrive in Martyr this evening, then. Good. Then we'll be liberated, liberated from this blasted shaking. Liberated? I don't believe I take offense to that. The fairy girl's right, you know. A carriage could never keep up this pace. Some gratitude would be appreciated. Apologies, I'm grateful. It's just hard to show while on the verge of losing your lunch. That, and I pray we can avoid further hindrances like yesterday. Once we arrive in town, we're supposed to meet with Barden. Right? I'm sure the sights will be distract distracting, but let's not keep the man waiting. Yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> Departing the capital and barreling southward, the party's gauntlet runner at last arrives in the old castle town, Artira, where their client, Barden, awaits. The towering castle's stark walls stare down coldly upon its visitors. The only question now is whether or not this gambit was the right move. Now 
No, here we are. Ooh, look at that design. Tis far more desolate a place than I'd heard. Not many people out. It's like everyone's afraid of something. Ah, you're here! I've been hoping you'd show up soon. I know it's been a while, but we pledged to help you. We'll not go back on our word. Glad to hear it. I'm sure Lady Joanna will also be pleased. Oh, your pardon. Lady Joanna rules this city. She's also a most holy sanctuary of the Sanctus Church. She lives there, in Criganti Castle. I take it the locals are hoping for His Eminence Forden to win the tournament? Aye, naturally. No sane and righteous man would want Luis on the throne. Speaking of, I heard there was a scuffle on the road between two candidates' gauntlet runners. The criers say Forden's ally suffered the worst of it. Ah, well, that's Luis's camp for you. I assume it was them, I mean. Some nasty characters at his heel, eh? Luis is a tyrant. All fights have casualties. It's not my, it's not my business. Luis is a tyrant. Luis is nothing but a tyrant. Yes. Such atrocities in his name. Unforgivable. Captain, are you sure we can trust these strangers? These Bentley boarders are always in it just for the money. Looks like his officer is not on our side just yet. Denny be rude, Morris. They've come a long way for our sakes. <sighs> no, I'm sure you must be knackered from the journey. Let me show you to an inn. You can try our local speciality, perhaps. Ah, you've a local delicacy. It would be a welcome treat. You chaps go on. The old girl needs a bit of maintenance after carrying us so far. Can't that wait until you've eaten? Uh, too much at stake, lad. Go on, don't worry, and I'll sort her out. Ah, might well fix the Bally Waterworks while I'm at it. Come, everyone. This way. It's so cool. Shoji Maguro does not miss when it comes to music, dude. Is this... Some kind of smoked dish? Roasted larvae of the giant sandworm. It's Martira's culinary speciality. Cooked to a delicate <laughs> finish, just enough to preserve all the natural juices and flavors of the innards. Oh good, larval innards. It is a unique texture, to be sure, but the taste is divine. Exquisite. You're completely serious, aren't you? Let's just give it a shot. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. Something the matter? Do try some of your own before it gets cold. Looks. Looks great. Looks great. <laughs> Not sure about this. Looks great. <laughs> Looks great. What is with that smile? Not you too. The rich flavors are bursting my mouth. It's surprisingly tasty. You fairly eat with gusto, young man. Passion worthy of a royal candidate. How was it? Sometimes the insides can twitch a bit, but it's harmless, I assure you. <laughs> Word that I had time to try more of your dishes, but to business. Can you fill us in on the details of all these kidnappings? Aye. Our wee ones have been going missing for at least six months. All told, we're looking at 15 children now unaccounted for. 15, wow. And do you think this Heisme is your culprit? I'm told he's a disgraced knight with nowhere else to turn. We've no proof, but the pieces fit. Seems to me that with nothing else to lose, he's gone rogue. For a man who claimed a knight's honor to stoop to such horrors, unacceptable. We must end this quickly, for our sake and his own. If I recall the brief, it'll be quite a feat to even get near this Heisme. His hideout was in the midst of the Sandworm's territory, yes? Aye, well remembered. He certainly isn't going to make this easy for us. Sandworms. 
So, is Heisme's hideout way out here? Looks pretty far from Martira. <laughs> giant sandworm's nest. A giant sandworm's nest in the wasteland. Rep reputed to be a hideout of highest way to kidnap her. The area is subject to a unique weather phenomenon known as the sand flash. It's your call. Sands camp. There's a runner. Rival gauntlet runner. It's your call. Oh, I smell trouble. Let's see here. That's rival gauntlet runner. Oh, I see. And there's a. Let's see. That's Sands camp. Let's see. Here. That's giant sandworms nest. Okay. Here's where we are now. Okay. Now that you mention it, I have to wonder how we can even survive out there. We've been chasing any lead we have, but we can't figure it all out. We're in over our heads. Joe, Joe, don't just have our reward ready. Let's save this town together. Let's work together to save this town. We're awful grateful to have you. And don't worry, we'll pay you what you're due. After all, nobody else in the royal capital would give it a second glance. We help anyone in need. That's why we've come this far. Inspiring words, young man. Now, I hope you're not full yet. We have a whole spread of other dishes for you. Now this, nope. this is the pride Goofy music. of the town. A fine sweetmeat made from the juvenile sandworm's entrails. You'll find this tastes as sweet as any dessert. Together, I'm sure we can find a way to the stronghold without falling prey to those worms. Now, please, dig in. Tis altogether different from the roast. Why, tis succulent as a mellow fruit. Another marvel. <laughs> you must have gotten used to eating anything you had to out in the wild, eh? I'll schedule a meeting with the Honorable Lady Joanna tomorrow. Please, rest your weary heads for today. If they aren't here, con a free meal out of us, that is. Now, let's go. Come on, man. It's been a while. It's been forever since I've had such a spacious bed. Exactly. We're going to meet the lady of the town first thing in the morning, so get your beauty sleep, okay? Oh, are you the informed person for this one? Oh, don't mind me. I only just arrived here just now. So it's not like I overheard the conversation you, you had with Barton. And even if I did hear something, it's not like I'd tell anybody. Never would have made it as a professional informant if I didn't know how to handle sensitive information. That's right. If there's anything you want to uh, don't know about this city, simply ask me. You can always find me here. Okay, cool. How you doing, Hulkenberg? Oh, the cuisine here was delicious to the last meal. Martira is a fine city indeed. Which makes this highest may of off offenses all the more damning. If all we've heard is true, hunting him will be a trial indeed. To be expelled from the order is one king is one thing, but to be wholly stripped of his knighthood, I would not be surprised if the mad's given into despair. Let's see where's our boy? I guess it's, he's gonna be in here. Oh yeah. <sighs> Finally free of those tiny bunny runner bunks. Not sleeping in in, isn't it? But it wasn't so bad. Either works. I love to get in. Yeah. Nothing beats the bed at it in. Right? I can see the monsters out there when we camp on the runner, so I rest a little easier in an inn. I wish Norris would come inside with us, but I suppose if the runner is the castle, then he is its king. Okay, can we do anything else right now? Or no? Uh we can talk to Kind tavern staff. As requested by Barton, the entire tavern has been reserved for your party's private use today. I had to kick out a house full of drunkards for this, so I hope you're all worth it. Still, it was nice of you to come all this way, traveler. Please, make yourselves comfortable. The beds are in the back, past the door next to the desk. Okay. Uh, anything else? I doubt we can leave right now. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, in that case, I think this is a good place to end things here for now. If y'all enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Become a royalty today. We'd love to have you in our community. Anyways, guys, I'm excited to see what 
we're gonna have going forward. I'm very excited. I'm loving the game so far. It's been a it's been a treat to witness so far. So I'm very excited to see what what the future has in store for us when it comes to Metaphor Fantasio. Anyways, guys, once again, thank y'all so very much for watching. Hit that like button, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Become a royalty today. We'd love to have you in our community. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so very much for watching. And I can't wait to see y'all in the next episode. See y'all then.